<clears throat> Hi, my name is Cy Porter, and this is a tutorial on creative writing. And the subject today is Leave the Radio On. Your most important function as a writer or artist is to keep the practice going. And in effect, what you're doing, it's equivalent to what um, SETI is doing when it listens to the, the skies for any signals coming in. What you're doing is you're leaving, it's, a, it's sort of like leaving the radio on. And it doesn't matter where your writing, storytelling wanderings go as long as you're in the practice of putting pen to paper regularly. That's all that counts. Um, you can you can even let it completely run itself as long as you are determined to put the pen to paper and and write and write and write and write. And when you do that, you're leaving yourself open for you know that 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 one story. Um, for me, um, I was a painter when, when the story came to me, and it didn't matter that, that um, I was a painter. I, I stopped painting, went into illustration and, and writing, because that's how I needed to change <clears throat> in order to make, you know, this art form, because it was a story. Um, that's what I wanted to do in order to tell it because once I got it and really started to understand what I was working with then I knew I could leave behind all the previous types of artistic work I was doing and and educate myself and 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 um, adapt to the form of art that wanted, well it doesn't, it isn't like it, I don't really think it's alive like a human, but you know, it, for the, for what it is, it needed me to change as an artist in order to be told. So, the one consistent in this whole change is um, to keep the practice going and when if you do that you are that that is the place you need to be in order to catch that next great story in a way um bringing up seti is not a good idea as far as like waiting for for the good story ideas because um that would be pretty bleak but the fact is is if you are writing on a regular basis your you know your radio that you're turning on is going to start catching a lot of stories um, and they're you know some of them will be you know good some of them will be great and it'll happen very frequently a journal is like a catch-all for the writer it can be a place to practice a place to warm up a place to work out ideas and collect ideas and collect personality traits and impressions and do storyboarding and to um, keep a diary of how your writing is going or other events. So a journal <clears throat> is absolutely essential and it is not specific it, it it is for writing but it's for all things writing and in in the age of multimedia <clears throat> I expand that word writing to all things storytelling you know it can also be a place for for storyboarding now it's really wonderful when 
um, when you have that inspiring idea or group of ideas when when there's the new story and and there um, it uh, you know it's sort of like you know uh, fireworks going off bells ringing everyone shouting and everything like that um, around these new ideas um, but there are also um, a lot of really good ideas that will um, that you'll think that don't create that uh, feeling of inspiration um, they may be um, but they are still very good ideas so you need to become a collector of ideas you need to look for them actively and after a while you'll you won't need to you'll you'll just do it you'll pay attention to ideas even if they don't you know um, you know even if you don't feel inspired when you have them um, they can still be very very good ideas that will just kind of float through your mind unnoticed along with you know ideas you might have about you know what errands you need to run that day so um, you know I've had um, this digital recorder with me it, it has to be over 10 years and um, it's one of the greatest investments I've ever made in that I mean I, I this the uh, mileage on the, the, this thing is is a lot and I keep it with me for the most part all the time and basically what it's there, there for is to catch those ideas and the sooner you get an idea down when you have it the better and I'm talking about the 4 a.m. ideas I'm talking about in the middle of traffic ideas to be very um, determined to collect all your ideas that you know you're working with and when it's not always easy to go and write them down and a digital recorder is great because then every time that you work with an idea you can improve it so by first collecting it on the digital recorder it's practically effortless and it doesn't interrupt my day but then you know after a week or so I'll sit down and then I can organize them then on my computer I have you know um, different documents for the you know whatever category they're in they might be one document might be story ideas another document might be um, you know character sketches so on and so forth and um, and also I will kind of, it's kind of like a second draft I'll make improvements and 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 work on each idea and and and, and add to it and and build on it where I where I need to um, so that's a really good way of, of leaving yourself open for those ideas and those stories that are gonna occur in your life I hope my tutorials are useful to you I post them to get the word out about a story I'm working on at solomation.com I post free episodes of my illustrated story so if you have a few minutes please check it out thank you and I hope your next writing session is a good one a good idea is like a gold coin that you can spend over and over again it, it, it will never leave you you can you know you every time you spend it you look and, and you have it again
spend some time and or do writing exercises that are not writing stories but writing story ideas. A story idea is like, okay, there's a society of blind people who have lived underground for thousands of years. And in your mind, you have kind of an idea. You have ideas about, you know, how the story is going to play out, but that's it. And that's what you write down. And then you work with other story ideas. And don't write the stories. Just think of different story ideas and write them down make a list of them, take notes on what what might be in these stories, but don't take it any further than that. And if you have a lot of story ideas, then you can start to work with the best of them and you can start to invest time in the ones you think are really going to yield you great stories. I think it was Ray Bradbury who said that he wrote the books that he, those were the books he wanted, wish he could read. So as a writing exercise, write the book that you find on the shelf that is going to be the book you want, want to read. And don't, don't write the book, just write your impression of the book, what kind of story it looks like, um, ideas you have about what the story might be about, um, and um, very much like the previous exercise, you're not actually writing the story, you're writing the story ideas, you know, the title, you know, what the main characters, you know, you know, is it a heroine, is it a hero? you know, um, is the, you know, hero a turtle or, you know, I don't know, like a boat captain, I don't know. And um, just kind of imagine that whatever you write down in your exercise about that, that really, that book you really, really want to read next, imagine that you can then walk down to your local bookstore and find that book on the shelf and what would it be what would that what would what book would it be that you you go oh i have to i really have to get this book this is the book i want to read your subconscious is an amazing um brain power and the more that you can tap it the, the more of this amazing resource you can use in your life. So the m- most important thing to do is to do something with the ideas that you get. If your subconscious is churning away, originating these really good ideas and you don't do anything with them, your subconscious is going to discontinue doing that. <clears throat> but if you're a collector of ideas, if you pay attention to your own ideas, write them down, tell them into the audio recorder, get up at four in the morning to to um, to dictate um, that idea and to write each day and to, to um, act upon the ideas that you receive, to collect them, you know, it, at least into the journal, if not into um, organized documents on your computer, then your subconscious knows that you need these ideas and will, will begin to give you more of them and with greater frequency and begin to devote more of its time to working with you with these new ideas.